Hello YouTube, my name is Amulde and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ruby on Rails 5.1.4 that is the latest release and to install Ruby on Rails gem we need to install Ruby first on our system so let me go ahead and install Ruby first so this is Ruby installers website simply go to rubyinstaller.org slash downloads and then you download 32-bit or 64-bit I will suggest you do this one 32-bit it works fine and faster and once it's downloaded you also want to have dev kit so dev kit is here on the very bottom so if it's inst if you are installing 64-bit use the last one the bottom one because it's a 32-bit I'm going to use 32-bit dev kit so ruby is already installed sorry downloaded let me go ahead and run it accept the license and check all the boxes then click install okay a dev kit is still taking a long time now here it is dev kit 32 bit I'm going to save it on the desktop and Ruby 32 bit has been installed so I'm going to click finish and then I'm going to extract dev kit so once the download is done it's been confirmed now I'm just going to double click on it and then I want to keep it in the dev directory this is where people keep so please make some changes here and type dev or div whatever you want so I'm going to say div sorry dev and extract this will take a moment in the meanwhile I will check my Ruby so Ruby already running IRB is also running alright so Ruby is already running here and dev kit is being extracted it should not take long time so it's almost been extracted I'm going to launch my CMD again so this is CMD I want to go to the C drive and clear my command prompt and you can see if I want to go to dev I would be able to go there and now you have to type something so ruby dk.rb in it and press enter and then just now you have to install it so install ruby dk.rb install that's been done that's all I all you have to do now if you want you can simply exit reopen the command prompt CMD and then you want to check the gem list so go ahead and check all the gem list so these are the gems you already have installed now we will go ahead and install Ruby on Rails so it says gem install Rails because I do not want to waste your time here so I'm not going to install any manuals R dot and press enter here you just have to allow access fetching everything fetching and installing so rails have been installed let's go ahead and check so this is rails 5.1.4 and let me go ahead and clear the screen and let's create a rails application so rails see i'm going to go to desktop and create a folder make dir and rbox 
okay like that and then go to our box and then clear the screen then you say rails new my app the application name and press enter so this is how you create rails application i should not take long time Alrighty, thank you for your patience. So Rails have created your application, installed all the gems required. Let's go ahead and get into the application, clear the screen and then run the server. So Rails server and then press enter. And now let's go ahead and refresh it. So here is Ruby on Rails 5.1.4 and Ruby version 2.3.3632 bit. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for my channel. If you are facing any issue installing Ruby on Rails, please do what I have done in this video. And if you are still facing, please leave your comment in the comment section. Also please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day. Bye. Happy coding people.